and welcome back to the supermarket cooking we are cooking in london for average ingredients which are available in every british supermarket please feel free to comment at where you're watching from and if you can replace the ingredients which we're showing here for britain with something which is available locally all the ingredients we are using are available on your way home so we're not cooking with any of the twists and although it is not uh, a healthy cooking per se but i do watch calories just keeping an eye on them and if you think that the portions are too big you can always split them in a smaller portion and freeze them so effectively you are cooking fresh and uh, prepping your meals because you can either take it as a pack lunch to work or you can warm it up uh, at the later date uh, everything is totally freezable so just please remember not to refreeze the things i don't really know the science behind that but i think it's not a good idea to refreeze the food and refreeze it back so today we are cooking some meatballs from the turkey mince or minced turkey in the white sauce so by saying white sauce what i mean that i have embarrassing number of sour cream leftovers in my fridge but what you can do you can replace it with any of the melt cheese or soft cheese philadelphia or own supermarket brand so we are making the meatballs from the minced turkey because i cannot find in the uk any minced chicken for love or money but if you are in the country where the minced chicken is available it is a good option too now if you are vegetarian i'm not you can replace it with corn uh, still the same result right here i've got just a normal portion of the minced turkey which is available in every supermarket so it's what four for 50 grams and uh, it's about three portions so if you live alone you eat one portion now you freeze the other two for later for this amount of mince, all I need to do is I take some of the old flakes, again, available in every supermarket across the world, and I only need two spoonfuls. And then I need one egg, just one egg. And you already know that I really like to spice everything up. So it's some um, old bay seasoning. It is already with salt. So if you are cooking with a variety of spices, don't forget to put the salt in. So I'm just gonna very generously put some spices in and I will mix it now. If you are, say, working from home, you can do it in the morning because what it's going to do, the oats are going to absorb a little bit of the meat juices. So we will mix it and we will set it aside for some time. Right, it is ready. You can maybe set it aside for a couple of hours or you can start cooking straight away that the next part i found a little bit tricky because i always i was always trying to create some perfect meatballs perfect size never happened i just left the idea so what i do i take half a spoon i roll them and i put them in i take the next one and I roll it and I put it in a few moments later and we're putting all of them in so how many do we have 16 16 about five six per portion it is about three portions here so what we're gonna do now we're gonna close it 
and we're gonna brown it for 15 minutes so again i don't know what air fryer you've got i've got this ninja here um it's really convenient for all my cooking and start okay since the uh, meatballs are browning we can make a, a sauce so i really really like chicken stock so i use this not here but it's just because I like it since I was a child. That was the first thing which uh, appeared in our supermarkets back when I was a kid. So I just stuck with that. Uh, I am also using a little bit of flour uh, because, well, it says here thickening sauces, so why not? I'm just gonna put one spoon in. literally one spoon without any anything and say not waste here and I like to add some herbs so right now I'll have parsley in this sauce so I just gonna put some in so and now I'm gonna deal with all this embarrassment which for some reason I have accumulated in my fridge. I have no idea why I have so much in here and they're all half empty. So yeah. It is not really fat. So this is 187 calories per 100 grams and we're probably gonna put 400 grams into the so so it's really 100 150 grams per portion so it's kind of all right so just gonna put this one into and i will mix it very very well together in the mixing jar and I will just wait for my meatballs to brown and it's ready okay so now is the most satisfying of cooking meatballs so you're getting them ah oh look at this to put them all in some sort of order whether they want it or not make sure you separate them so they can boil in sauce so i like this part the most and you just pour in the sauce It's going to go into the oven uh, for about 30 minutes. Okay, so the big bowls are ready. We're going to have them today with some, what we call back in my home country, a village potatoes and so we've got some potatoes here and we've got uh, our meatballs right here with the sauce and we can as usual decorate it with some cherry tomatoes and some 
small cucumbers and it is bright and sunny and summery and smudge noble. 